farm town neighbors welcome to my farm town tips and tricks um today well last video i showed you how to uh use a neighbor's farm cash facility for your quests uh a farm cash facility that you do not own yourself uh, this time i'm going to show you how to do production on a farm cash facility that you do not own but one of your farm town neighbors owns and they have made you a permanent designer of that particular farm where that facility is at um, so first off um, well I'll show you which, which one I'm going to work on I'm going to work on the flower shop because um, I own a whole lot of flower shops about 13 or 15 of them I'm not sure which and I'm going to open it up and show you where I've only got 4,712 products stored here. And same with the uh, Hyacinth Marigold Pot. So I want more of those. So I don't own the flower shop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go to my neighbor Denise's farm. But it, it might be easier to hide everything except for regular facilities. Okay, that way you won't be loading up all the other stuff on the farm. So I'm going to go to Denise's farm. And after it loads. Okay, I'm going to go to the farm that has the red dot on it. Because if you're a permanent designer on a farm, it'll always have a little red dot on it. So that's farm 28. So I'm going to go to that farm. Wait for it to load up. And then I'm going to zoom it out. Okay, so, so that I don't have to search for it, I'm going to go down to my toolbox here and I'm going to use a magnifying glass and I'm going to search for flower. You don't have to type in flower shop, you can just type in flower. You want to hide non-matching items, click the green check box and there's the flower shop. So you see I got the green hand, that means that I'm a permanent designer. So I'm going to right left click on the flower shop then I'm going to take it over here to my home icon. And, okay, I don't see it. And the reason is, is because her farm is a lot larger than mine. So all I got to do is scroll, I slide it up, and there it is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on it, show facility details, and I'm going to start production. Um, it only sent 40 products, but that's because I've already had the flower, flower shop over here and there's already production going on. So what I want to do now is I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to click move and I'm going to take it to, I'm going to take it to farm nine because I just did this all the way from farm one to eight and I got production going. So I'm going to take it to my farm nine. And wait for it to load. Okay, again, okay, right there it is down here. But see, when I hover over it, it won't highlight. That's because you have to click, when you go from one of your farms to another one of your farms, you always have to click on the little green Walkman uh, before you can highlight it. So now I'm going to highlight it to show facility details. Uh, I'm going to start production. There's 14,400 productions, product sent. Then I'm going to come over here to pending because I've had this here before. And now I have all these that are already done. So now I'm just going to store them. Close it. I'm going to left click. Do move. And then I'm going to take it to the next farm. And do the same thing. I can, I can take it to every one of my farms if I want. Click on the green man. Click on the flower shop. Show facility details. Start all. What's pending? Store all. Now you can only use these buttons if you have the tools to store them all at the same time. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to do each one individually. Uh, now I'm going to click off of it. Uh, okay, so you get the gist of it. You go from one farm to the other. You know, just keep picking it up, taking it to the next farm, and you can do this with your semi trailer so that you can increase production on your. Uh, what the semi is carrying, 
another good facility to do it with is uh, like your fish farming. Uh, of course, you don't have to go to your neighbors for that. If you own the fish farming plant, you can just go ahead and go to your own fish farming plant, uh, pick it up, take it to another farm, then take it to another farm, you know, start production, take it to another farm. Uh, and also each time you leave your farm, it'll disappear. It won't stay there. It'll, it'll be disappear, but it'll still be there invisibly and it will still be producing. Even when your neighbors work your facilities, uh, they'll be working the ghosted facilities as well. Uh, so I hope that helps you all out. And so you now that you know how to do it. Uh, so uh, God bless you all and happy farming. And please like my video and share it with all of your farm town neighbors so that they all know how to do this. Uh, bye now.